Hi and welcome. So this time around we got an interesting project. Uh, my brother, another one for my brother-in-law. He goes around to all these estate sales and finds these interesting bits that he'd uh, like to use. One of them is this Czechoslovakian seltzer water container and uh, he showed me and it's uh, pretty neat. So what you do is you fill it up to the red line here, the faint red line. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, it's right there uh, with water and then you uh, unscrew this piece and you use a CO2 charger that comes in a little eight gram container about this size and uh, you uh, push this in with a special tool until it punctures the center part and then it allows the 850 PSI eight grams of uh, CO2 to go into the container and pressurize the water where it dissolves in and forms carbonated water. That's a long-winded description, but uh, he got this and didn't realize he was missing a part. And I said, well, so how is it uh, that uh, you're going to hold this charger in place? Where's the piece that goes on here? Now, the original design uh, had small threads on the end and it was a cast part and you would slip this cartridge in, you'd thread it up to about here, slip the cartridge in like this into the hole that they had in the side of it, and then you would continue tightening it down until it pushed in about to the blue line I've drawn here, and then it would puncture the container and uh, put the uh, high pressure CO2 into the bottle. Well, you don't want to do this by hand because it might be enough pressure that it could come loose, could be dangerous, this could shoot across the room like a little mini rocket. Uh, so duplicating the cast part would be very difficult. You would need the right size radius bit that would be the equivalent of this uh, radius of this uh, half diameter of this part. Uh, and you could cut out a, a slot in some material, but it's a lot of material engagement. And uh, you basically open it up in half and cut out the groove and then make it so you can slide this guy in and thread it on. You could do all that. Um, but the modern seltzer containers, like the ones done by ISI, um, the threads are actually larger. So in this guy, the thread diameter is actually smaller than the outside diameter of the CO2 cartridge. So if I were to build just a tube like this that had an end that you slide this into that screws on there, um, you wouldn't be able to put this into the threaded portion because the threads would be smaller than this diameter and it wouldn't fit. So the, the solution I'm going to go with is I am going to make a double-sided threaded bushing, uh, internal threads to match those threads, external threads to be somewhat larger that this will fit into, and then I will design using some leftovers from my steady rest project. I'll use, utilize this knurled portion here. and. I will make a part the threads on that outer part and you won't remove the threaded part here and you'll just it'll work the same way as most of the modern ones work. This is a really nice Arc Deco uh, carbonator or seltzer bottle so it'd be a shame to waste it. Uh, I might have to make a new cap with the large that matches these larger the larger diameter threads because this will no longer work because it'll have an adapter on it so we'll do that too. Um, I think it should be pretty straightforward. Uh, the challenging part will be this bushing, I think, because the wall is somewhat thin. It's about 62,000 thick. So I won't do the inside first. I will do the outside first, thread it, and then I will drill and tap the inside. Fortunately, I have die taps and dies for this. I don't have to single point that. Uh, I'm using metric uh, because the inside threads are already M18 1.5, and so the outer I'm going to do M24 1.5, which is just under an inch, 25.4 millimeters to the inch. So it's just under an inch on the outside diameter. Uh, this, after I remove the threads, should be about one and a quarter. I'm going to take off the section that's got the hole here, and that should still leave enough useful material. Uh, anyways, let's head over to lathe and get started. First step, we're just going to make this uh, double-sided or double-threaded bushing uh, small threads on the inside and large threads on the outside. So we're going to reduce the outside to 0.945 first. And I've got this piece of brass that was from another project that we're going to start with. Alrighty. Start with 150,000 depth of cut.
Okay, it's about to take half a half an inch at a time. <laughs> Not having any problem. <laughs> That's kind of amusing. To help get this guy started, we're gonna chamfer it so we can get the die started on it. That'll give a nice lead in. Got one arm here that's uh, resting on the base down here. And I'm just using the, the chuck to draw this guy in. Using my drill chuck with the jaws draw, uh, pulled all the way back in to keep it centered. And that's it. I'll bring you back. Turned out to be a pretty big challenge uh, doing threads this big. Uh, this die, I had to end up using lube because it got so stiff even though it's just brass. I thought with brass you could get away without any lube, but uh, definitely needed it. And then I restarted to clean up the threads by flipping the die around to not have the, uh, the tapered portion. And I started a little bit off, so I had to go run it again. Kind of jammed up the threads a little bit. Fortunately, I can take some off of this end, which I think I'm going to do. And then we're going to do the internal. The tap drill size is uh, 21 30 seconds, which is a drill bit size I don't have. So we're going to start with half inch and then we're going to bore out to 0.6496. Gotta say, you gotta love brass, don't you? Well, let's see if this small boring bar can do 50 thousandths in brass. I am not sure that it can, but we'll try. Yeah, so far so good. Cutting like a champ. If I wanted super precision, which I don't care about because I'm only uh, doing this for the tap drill, uh, but if I wanted super precision, I would use pin gauges. 6108, so. We have 39.2 roughly. Let's take it all. See if we can do this yeah. one. We're gonna chamfer the inside to make tapping easier. All right, so we're gonna run the tap in with lube because uh, these large taps seem to be fairly difficult, even in brass. And uh, we'll just take the chuck and move it along. So I'm using the chuck key to give me some added leverage because it actually is uh, kind of tough. Thread it inside and out. Now we just need to part it off and we want to part it at uh, 0.675 inches from this end here. So I know I've explained this before. This is 15 thousandths thick. So I'm going to come over here until... Just touches. Come back. Go over 15 thousandths, which is the thickness of the shim. And then I need to go over the thickness of the cutter because I'm interested in this side of the cutter, not this side. And I wrote, on, I engraved in the cutter the thickness and it's 0.078. So we go over 0.078 and make that zero. And then we're gonna go over 675 and we're gonna lock off my carriage and we're just gonna part this guy off. The uh, back surface is up against the bottle so it does not matter so much. I'm just gonna file it a little bit once I get in a ways. 
go all right so to get this little lip off of here oops sorry about that to get this little lip off here I'll just pop it over on the vise squeeze the vise shut and it'll clean that right up all right there's the finished part next up make the cartridge holder <laughs> 